What's up guys, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and uh, today I have a really quick drill I wanted to show you guys. It's actually in response to an email that I got from Micah from Australia. And um, in Micah's a uh, neighborhood or area, um, they actually they play out of a really small rink and there's a limited number of players. So in order to make their league work, um, what they've ended up doing is going three on three. So he was wondering if I've got any drills that kind of focus on three man um, setups and schemes and uh, this is a great one so it'll work great for that situation or for pretty much any other situation uh, in hockey. So let's pull up the rink here and we'll go ahead and uh, get this started. So you can see what we've got. We've got two coaches, one in each corner with pucks and then we've got um, a lineup of forwards and a lineup of defensemen. Now what I would recommend doing is just have the players who aren't participating in the drill wait in the bench so the lineup will actually be in the bench. Um, and what's going to happen here is pretty straightforward. On the whistle, uh, the first three guys are going to leave and they're going to swing through and present themselves as passing options. So depending on what your setup is, you may or may not have them do something similar to this. So you've got a low man, wide man, uh, middle man, and then a high man. Uh, and then the coach is just going to send a breakout pass. So he can hit anyone that he wants. So let's just say it goes breakout pass to this guy. Um, maybe a little one touch or over. And then hit the breakaway man. Okay, or however the rotation ends up being. Um, as this happens, then the guys are going to attack 3 on 0 first. So this guy will drive wide. Second guy, if you've got a similar setup to what we use, second guy will drive to the net. And third guy will become a trailer man trailing in behind the puck carrier somewhere okay and they'll take a shot after the shot then they're gonna basically present themselves again as passing options so let's just say this guy swings out we'll do it in a different color now um, this guy can swing somewhere to the middle and this guy can rotate and become an outlet pass here um, and the coach will again start a breakout pass. So let's just say he hits this guy this time. Now after they've taken their first shot, the first defenseman of the other line is now going to come up, close that gap, and back up playing a 3 on 1. So we've got a 3 on 0, now we've got a 3 on 1 coming back the other way. And then after they go down, attack three on one, then the same thing, and I'll just do a different arrow here just so we can keep it all straight. Um, so after they've gone down and shot, then they'll just swing again, presenting themselves as breakout options, and they'll come back the other way. And in case you haven't guessed, two new defensemen will leave, come out to the middle. I know this is getting really, uh, really scribbly here in the middle, but um, two new defensemen will come out, and they'll play three on two. So it's pretty straightforward. Three on oh, three on one, three on two. Uh, it's a great drill for the forwards. They get a lot of conditioning. I mean, it's really, it's three hard laps back and forth. So three on oh, three on one, three on two. Um, it also works the defenseman on a, a number of different game situations. So have your forwards um, working really hard. Don't let them take the three on oh for granted. Have them shoot in stride um, and, you know, work on some of your offensive attack options that, uh, that you're hoping they execute in games.